Uh, great to visit with you, and a lot happening there late. Let's begin, if we can, with the meeting that Rocco had with you guys on the mound there in the 10th inning, a one-run game. Can you give us some insight, the discussion there about possible strategy that might be in play on Baltimore's side? Yeah, I mean, there, there's the first and third bump play that, you know, the safety squeeze that likes to get run a lot. So we're trying, we're going over and uh, just reinforcing uh, what everybody's going to be doing. Uh, and then also with the chance to turn a double play. Um, so we're, we're just getting on the same game plan, making sure everybody knows what they're doing. The 10th inning strategy overall, I know you missed some time last year, but now immersed into all these extra inning games that the Twins have found themselves in this season. What do you make of just the rule itself and the strategy that is out there for all teams in these tie game situations late? Yeah, I mean, I think there's a multitude of different strategies, right? Uh, and it plays different on the road uh, versus at home. Um, you know, to me, it really, uh, I, I think that you have to do a you, you have to make sure that you score at least one uh, on the on the on the road. So whether it's getting a guy over, whether it's dropping a bunt down, whatever it may be, you know I have different strategies probably than what the normal would be because uh, you don't really see it play out a whole lot. But at the end of the day, I think that um, you know there's definitely strategies to both both sides at home and road. Hey, Josh, we're talking about that first and third safety squeeze. I remember the Tampa Bay Rays used to run it every single time. And talking to DeGuardi about it when he was manager of the club, what's the defense for that? DeGuardi always felt that if they execute it right, you don't really see it till late. But he feels that you got to throw something up and in to get that guy that wants to butt. What's the strategy, in your opinion, as to how do you defend that safety squeeze? Yeah, I mean, you're talking more the pitching side with the going up and in right there. Uh, you know, I, I think it's, you know, when I when I used to catch, the strategy would be if a guy's bunting, you want to throw up, right, to try to get him to pop yep. the ball up. Uh, I think defensive-wise, the first baseman has to do a great job of pushing forward uh, to to make sure that they can, you know, go get the, the bunt up the line. And the pitcher also has responsibility of, pushing towards home plate as well. Third base, I'm trying to keep the guy close and then also pushing uh, to make sure that I can get there if the bunch come towards me.